We'll start first with Parker Fleming. Hey, Kyle. Uh, just, just as the season's winding down, just uh, what are some ways that you've uh, seen Coach Jenkins just instill confidence in you and the rest of your team? Yeah, I mean, I think Coach does a great job of letting us play through mistakes offensively. He knows we have good intent. Um, he lets us be free out there. He gives us the confidence to take shots. So uh, it's kind of dope playing for a coach like that. Sean Coleman. Kyle, after the last two games to start the week, just how uh, a big of a night was it to get the defense back going, especially in the second half? You know, that's like, you know, as Desmond said, that's what y'all hang y'all's had on the entire season. But the collective unit tonight, just especially in that third quarter, really showed out. It seems like it's getting back to the strength that it's always been for the to end the season on a high note. Yeah, it's tough. Um... You know, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of human nature to have a few good defensive games and then kind of, you know, let your guard up um, and kind of slack off. But I think we um, were locked in mentally this game and uh, wanted to do well on defense so we can get out and run and play our game on offense. Drew Hill. Kyle, you guys got 10 games left and you're in the middle of a playoff race here. Do these games feel different? Do they feel more tight, more intense? Is there anything different about these final 10? Um, well, you, you can always, after all-star break around the league, sense that teams are, you know, uh, gearing up and getting ready. Um, it's always, like, fun to watch league pass at this time because, you know, teams are just, you know, it's, it's, it's a total different game from the beginning of the season. You know, guys are coming ready, ready to play for 48 minutes. So uh, we're kind of, you know, catching on to that. Evan Barnes. Kyle, you mentioned how much Taylor lets you guys play through it. Uh, as you guys are working through new lineups or, you know, integrating Jaron back, how much, you know, how much is it, how good is it to kind of have that trust in him, from him for you guys to kind of figure things out on the court and just try to learn each other, even though you guys aren't able to practice as much as you like with the compressed schedule? Uh, yeah, it's very good. Um, you know, like you said, we, we got to come together and figure things out sometimes. Um, you know, we can't, we, we're, we're not robots out there. We got some guys that can play, guys that can go. So, uh it's 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 pretty neat when you can uh you know get on the same team get on the same page with your teammate and go out there and perform well. Kelsey Wright Johnson. Hey Kyle, we got to see Cam on your walk off interview today. Is that your first interview with him? And how special is it to have him in a moment like that? Yeah, man, that's it's it's extremely special to me. Um, you know, I just you know I I don't know I can't even put it in words. You know, for him to be in the stands watching me play is just. It, it means so much to me, and uh, he stayed up late today. wasn't as wasn't as crabby, so you know we let him get some camera time. Terry Davis. Hey, what's up, Cal? How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Terry? It seemed like your defense intensity was a little bit better than the last two games. What do you guys do differently this game than the last two games? Um, hmm, it's tough. Uh, I don't know. Um, I would, you know, maybe we could chalk it up to fatigue the last two games where we didn't have good defensive games. Uh, you know, as a player, you don't want to do that, but uh, sometimes you just got to take a step back and look. And you know, we had a tough road trip, tough eight games in 12 days, whatever the hell it is. But uh, you know, we just wanted to take care of business today. Um, you know, not have one of those games again, get some rest, and go out there and play well on defense and offense. Megan Triplett. Kyle, going off of that, uh, to come off of a road trip where, you know, you're on the road for 13 days, how important is it to kind of come back home and how uh, imperative has it been to, to just be back home for a few days and also to get that family time? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's big time, man. It's, um, you know, we're so wrapped up in this, in, in, in the game of basketball and where we're at in the season that sometimes, you know, maybe once a once a week, you just gotta you know let go of basketball, spend time with your family. You know, be a dad, be a, a brother, be a, a fiance, a husband, whatever you are at home. Um, take your mind off basketball, and then you know next day or whatever, next practice, shoot around, you lock back in. So it's it's it, it means a lot. It's important. Adam Tyke. Hey Kyle, we saw again tonight how well this team can turn things around in the third quarter. Since you're one of the vets on the roster, I wanted to ask if you have any halftime routines that help you out with that, either on an individual level or even just interacting with some of the younger guys. Um, not really. Uh, you know, I want to use the time to 
uh, you know, maybe watch a few shots go in and get some shots up, get your rhythm. But, uh, you know, I think we all do a good job of communicating on what's going on out there and then uh, try to make adjustments. Then, you know, we listen to coach. That's all the time that we have. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, guys. Kyle will be our final player for the evening.